What uh, would you say are your expectations from the Greek audience? I mean, in terms of warm welcome and reactions. Ah, but uh, in terms I mean, of uh, warm expect- welcome uh, and reactions. Hi. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I've played, uh, I've played in Greece a few, a few times, and uh, always, you know, I have very good memories of enthusiastic uh, crowd and. Um, You know, people who like my music. So uh, I guess it's um, it's something to very much look forward to. You know, um, well, you know, we're very excited to be coming. We've been traveling a lot this year, um, but mainly in you know northern Europe. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, to to come to Greece is you know it's exciting for me. I'm very happy to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> It's a fact that Roxy Music uh, has been from the very beginning the iconic first album, unlike anyone else at the time. How difficult was this for planning your next moves? I mean, over time. Um, well, you know how life is. You just kind of take one move at a time. And um, uh, we were very lucky with the first, mm-hmm. the first album, you know, and... Uh, we we happened at uh, a very good time in music, and it was an exciting time. I remember to be in London, and very very exciting for us to be making our first record. Um, and you know, you make one album, and then you kind of you go and play it, uh, you know, to people at concerts, and and then you make another album, and, and you know, the inspiration you know comes from I don't know, just living. Um, and all the time you're kind of trying to do something a little bit different from what you've done before, you know. Sometimes it's, it's, it's a little bit different, sometimes it's, it's very different. But I've tried in my career to to branch out in different directions, you know. To, mm-hmm. First of all, you know, making music uh, with, with a band and Roxy music and... And then as a solo artist, working with lots of different people. And I think, you know, for me, it's exciting to, to always try to change do, doing different things. I mean, the most recent project I've been working on is is um, something we, we're just finishing off now before we come out on tour again. Uh, it's, um, it's a collection of songs I did for... The German television series Babylon Berlin, which is based in 1920s uh, in Berlin in the 1920s, uh, which is a you know exciting period in history, and uh, that's been a, a very interesting project for me, uh, doing my songs, but as I imagine them being played in that time in a different time, you know, a different mm-hmm. place, yeah. So yeah, I, I try and find projects that um, are sort of a little bit challenging and a bit different, and and they keep adding to the body of work, I guess. Um, which now is quite a lot of albums, quite a lot of songs to choose from when I go on tour. So you know, when I'm when I'm touring with this band, I have. Uh, Now we do lots of different things from from the different periods of my history, mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, including you know we do a lot of Oxy music songs long from, from the early days and and so on. So it's it's, a, it's an interesting uh, collection of stuff. Your fans still love you so much after forty five years. It's a kind of magic. Is there an explanation? For this well, love, it's funny. If you have a lo- you know, like a long career, and I don't know, the, it's funny, but the fans the, at the shows, you know, they they begin to feel like family, you know, like um, like old friends or something, and um, so it's always kind of. I find that you know, with each year, it, it becomes stronger my affinity with the audience and. Um, Um, in the early days, you know, I used to be quite afraid of audiences. So really, I was yeah because I was for, 
for a performer, I'm a very shy person, you know. But now I'm I'm much more comfortable, you know, and uh, I kind of realize that uh, they like me. So it's it's taken a long time <laughs> for for me to acknowledge that. Um, so yeah, it, it's last year we were touring in America a lot. And we had wonderful crowds, and uh, and this year in Europe, and it's yeah, it's. It's exciting to be traveling and playing to, and playing in different uh, different countries with different cultures and so on. And um, yeah, it, it, it's fascinating. I mean, next year we go to Australia and Japan and stuff. So it's a big world, and it's it's it's, yeah. it's a lovely way to spend your life. You know, traveling and playing music to people. That's for sure. Uh, yeah. Who do you think is your audience nowadays? Uh, well, it's it's a strange mixture, and it varies from, from different countries, the age groups. So um, some places where you haven't played very much in the past, um, the audience tends to be a bit younger. But uh, there again, in, in England and, and Germany and Scandinavia, where I've, I've always had a very strong following from 1972 onwards. Um, you find different generations, actually. You know, older people, but with their children, who are also kind of grown up. So I don't know. It it it, it, it depends on the kind of venue, also. Sometimes at festivals, there's a much younger crowd. Um, and we we try and vary the places we play. Sometimes it's festivals, sometimes theatres. In theatres, normally, I suppose the tickets are expensive, maybe, and so you have like older <laughs> audience. But uh, yeah, open air festivals, then it's a younger crowd, and so yeah, it varies a lot. Um, I guess in in Greece, we're going to pl be playing in the open air, but in kind of amphitheatre type venues. So. That's going to be interesting. I hope so. Uh, when did you realize that you are a big star, and how this perception affected your life? Well, I don't know. I mean, I was very fortunate in the in the mid seventies. You know, I had um, I had a following with Roxy music, and also as a solo artist. So, um, I guess in the in the late uh, mid late seventies, uh, yeah, we did. We were doing very well. So since then, I, I, I've been sort of, you know, very successful, very happy to to have, you know, success in, in something that I love doing. Um, and I guess I don't really think about it very much uh, in that yeah. sense. So, could you give us your definition of love, of loss? Uh, uh, and past, you are laughing. Well, love comes in many forms, and you know, I mean, my poor dog died uh, earlier this year, and uh, he was—he really loved me, oh, and he was so. 13 years old. Um, um, a border terrier, a beautiful dog called Bobby, and that you know, sometimes with animals, you get incredible love. Um, unconditional love, you know. Um, of course, f for my children, I love them. Uh, I guess I have unconditional love also uh, for them. And um, But I think you're talking about romance. That's much more difficult. Uh, love uh, is the uh, drug? Uh, is always uh, the drug? Uh, well, love is the drug, yes. But um, it's sometimes a very mischievous one. Mm. And uh, your definition of loss and past? Well, I... I love old things. I mean, I, I like old movies, old, old black and white movies, and um, film. I know um, classic films, um, books. I love. I'm, I'm always surrounded by books everywhere. You know, I, I love books, and so yeah, the history is very important. You know, I was very lucky when I was at school. I had, I had a great. Um, when I was young, I had a great history teacher and um, who really captivated my imagination and um, talking about 
uh, you know, different periods of history. And I, I, I still love studying art history. Um, after I left school, I, I studied art at university and and um, started a kind of a lifelong uh, love of pictures and stuff and buildings and furniture and God and everything. Um, I kind of live through my eyes quite a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I'm traveling, it's, it's great. I love to go and see museums and um, check out places that you know I haven't seen before and uh, it's a great it's a great way to broaden your mind you know mm -hmm. um, and what about brexit where do you stand did you vote yes or no on the referendum brexit uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a secret uh, <laughs> that's a secret okay I, I, I tell you what it's a, it's very very complicated in England it, and uh, it's every day it's just to being debated you know back and forth back and forth and it, it's a very confusing time you know it's a it's a time of great uncertainty right now and so uh, that's not so great i suppose uh, you know uh, it's great f for me to always traveling to mm -hmm. To get away from that, it's, it's, the politics in England is so boring. You know. uh, in a few days, uh, you're turning 73. Uh, what yeah. uh, would you like to wish for? I think happiness for my four sons. That's what I think. And on my on my birthday, I, I hope to get together with them, and then we have we have a great uh, a great uh, party together. 